today is April 7th and we are in Burlington at Centennial Woods. I'm going for a walk with my mother and most of the time we are locked down at home. There is a stay at home order in Vermont. We are allowed to go out for essential errands and exercise. It's a beautiful day to get out for some exercise and we are lucky in that here in Vermont we have lots of beautiful places to go where you can properly social distance. <laughs> Mr. Rogers said to look for the helpers, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look for the people who are helping in the midst of this coronavirus crisis pandemic that has really changed life as we know it. At Generator in Burlington, makers are using 3D printers to produce hundreds of face shields for local hospitals and facilities in need. They're also making intubation boxes to help keep healthcare workers safe. To make this face shield that protects medical caregivers, we've had to come together as a community, national and local. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> I just can't believe that that just got made. As a maker space, Generator is actually representing its own utility. Literally, we're hustling just to assemble all the pieces, coordinate all the people, all the materials, all the parts. Generator is looking for Prusa printers and monetary donations to fund their work. For Jen's Twang and Bang Parade, <laughs> that is literally what we're calling it. Just come out and make some noise. We've been out every night, rain or shine, since uh, the 20th of March. So great to see people smiling and having fun and waving. These are dark times. So anything we can do to make them less dark is critical. We have people out with trombones, saxophones, electric guitars, tambourines. In Unity, I would encourage everyone to go out on their porch at 7 o'clock Eastern every <laughs> night and playing along with for gents. So we've seen a 20% increase, so that means we're serving about 1,100 individuals every day. Actually, we've had a tremendous response from the community. We've gotten over 200 new volunteers. Social distancing is, is hugely, hugely important, but it also can add to that social isolation. Phone calls, FaceTime, any method that we can use to check in on our neighbors and friends. There's absolutely a silver lining. People do love each other and are taking care of each other and want to do what's right. I got that. VT, grizzle with the thick threads, wearing plaid, looking rad, making dope breads. I got a starter that'll start you up, making maple in the morning for my coffee cup. Got a corona evacuation out in order, clean 80k from the Canadian border. You call me quaint, but I ain't no fool. When things get hot, Vermont stay cool. Let's take a deep belly breath in and for people who can't get their hands on N95 masks. It just does not feel good to be stuck in your house when you know people need things and that people are putting their lives on the line for other people. But at least there's something that can do it. You make masks, I make videos, you know? We just kind of jumped in on, on FaceTime and Skype. I really enjoy our connection. I really enjoy laughing a lot and kind of being in that learning space. <laughs> We've ha had another mini breakthrough last week. You hit a B flat. Singing puts you into a flow space. You're really in another kind of realm of consciousness, if you will. You're not thinking about the news or what's going on in, in the world and you're just you're just really focusing on your instrument, the notes in front of you. So well done. I've grown up in Vermont, I lived in this community for a long time, love this place. We've really had to pivot the whole restaurant over the last three weeks. So we've been donating meals, hundreds and hundreds of them every week, you know, to provide healthy options from all different restaurants. And it's not 
certainly not just us. I mean, I just over and over again, I'm hearing from people and seeing people doing absolutely tremendous things to, to meet this uh, unprecedented need. New Moon every month is kind of a lot of people recognizing as the time of a new beginning or fresh start. So after the darkest night comes the new moon and the new moon is kind of the symbol of hope. So I've been so encouraged to see the way the community has come together. Working from home means emptying our composting toilet a lot more. and I uh, play piano, uh, I live in Vermont, I'm originally Dutch. And then I was on Facebook and I was just asking, hey, would you like me to play something for you? And I started with one Cooper and piece and then I recorded some more also because I was asked to play for the funeral. That was my first Zoom funeral. Jemima McLean is my husband. You know, we lost a lot of gigs. I'm also like a church music director. So we do every Monday night now a Zoom zing. So I'm very grateful to live in Vermont because of all the local farms, for example. So we know there will be food in the summer. What we are all learning out of this is that we need each other. I've never been calling my mom so much. <laughs> Just wash your hands and stay calm and be smart. Wash your hands. The nurse has spoken. Thanks to my friends, oh, of Johnson, we are never alone. Thanks to my friends, of Johnson, I'm proud, so proud to call you my home. Thank you, everyone. Hang in there. I know times are hard, but together we can get through this. Stay home if you can. Only go out for essential errands. And if you're feeling dark, hop on the internet and look for the helpers because there are a lot of people out there doing good. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Right, yes, look. He's hiding. <laughs> uh, so let's see, I'm recording you with my phone, a GoPro. And just for Make kicks. Today because you don't want to see my hair. <laughs> yeah, likewise. Yeah. I was like, should I wash it? Nah. Yeah.